challenger on my right, fighting out of the blue corner. Entering the ring, wearing black trunks with red trim, fighting out of his hometown of Chicago, Illinois. He weighed in at already 212 pounds. He is undefeated in his campaign in the ring. 27 wins, no losses. 21 wins coming by way of knockout. Tonight, making his first attempt at a world title. Please welcome the IBF number five ranked heavyweight contender. Tonight's challenger, the undefeated Vaughn Shake and Bake Bean. And his opponent across the ring is the defending world champion on my left, fighting out of the red corner, entering the ring wearing green trunks and fighting out of Boca Raton, Florida. He weighed in the same as his opponent at 212 pounds. His fine record stands at 38 wins, only one defeat, 31 wins coming by way of knockout. Please welcome the former light heavyweight world champion, now in his second reign as the heavyweight title holder, introducing the IBF heavyweight champion of the world known as Double M, Michael Morer. Moore is always in very good condition. Concern. Unbeaten, untested. Take on the winner of Holyfield Tyson, May 3rd. More pressing issue, starting what might be here, looking to press the issue, make a fight out of it. Get in there as a heavyweight. Let me tell you, Franz Botha is not easy to knock out. He's easy. Opening round. Well, it's just like right off the top of the head. Of Michael Moore led him. Michael Moore just sometimes with two jabs and a straight left hand in the midsection, ripped that right off because he's got a vicious fit. But Moore has to show everybody that being a bean, he's he's a powerful puncher comes forward, but this is a whole other Give Bean credit. He's he's ready to fight. He walked into one there, did Bean. Taking a shot, you gotta admire that. But I'll tell you what. Wide left hook by Bean. So Michael starting being able to elude it. He feels a, an accumulation of punches. The rounds is all but even the aggression. Heavyweight title, Bobby? Yeah, no, he talked about not wanting to get too excited. Oh, as you see, no one ever knows. What goes. Against unheralded Born V round. Oh, a combination start. Good for them, Fraser and Spinks. Being being do more than he should be letting him do. He, this guy's never been at his level. Exercised those demons from Morris head but to this point. Being back. Manager, promoter has done a, a heck of a job with this kid. Nice combination by Moore. Michael Moore now beginning to open it up a little bit. I think the message is beginning to arrive. Moore be, be on the attack a lot more now. He's round four. I think Moore is a very patient fighter. Evander Holyfield for that one. Well, he, he didn't beat that. There's a left hook. Still that is stinging. If that had been a little game to shoot bullets. Michael Moore, this is the IBF heavyweight championship. Although he's pounding away with the right. Now that was a nimble of nimble. What he is offering is cleaner. Yeah, I think Moore is being almost it's Lewis, uh, Lewis. Michael Spence screaming in the background. You know, this guy, you know, hiding and guarding. He's been sitting here all evening, and we've seen some very exciting fights. With all the trophies and the champions. Would, like you, like, would you like to see him? Look at this, a combination by Vaughn Bean to Michael Moore. You know, Michael Moore is not a bad guy. He gets a bad rap like he's going to be much, and whether he is or isn't. You train like he's a world. Guy's coming in like a slow-moving freak with body shots. Where, you know, where's the counterattack? And again, Bean rounds to zip if Michael Moore just worked. Any contact to the chin of Moore. And now a left hook by Bean. Bean's losing for many, many years. But a lot of the big heavyweights take advantage of the evidence here tonight. Coming And he's coming. I mean, it's, it's almost like you, you revert to your corner man. See, Michael's still landing the clear punch like that, that left hand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You see, his passion for the sport continues to be questioned. And uh, again, with uh, just about 10 seconds left in the eighth round. The heck with the sport end of it, have a passion for your job. Frank Bruno, when he took the title from a member ever seen when this. Warren. So he is uh, obviously a changed man since uh, earlier in his career. Here's a. You know, that was a nice uppercut. But there, see, he throws the first punch. Knocked out here. If he gets too brave and goes toe-to-toe with him at the end, if they pump him up and think he's... 
not just the public is going to not give him. Hey. You're going to take your back. See that, there, uh, now. Happens here. See there, he lands a nice one, two, one at a time, two at a time. To Teddy Atlas in the face. It's not, I don't know, I can have a point of reference to say to you what that means at this point. Green wind. <laughs> no, this is just a matter of sucking it up and going. It was Butterbean. It was Butterbean. I try and kill him. That's the That's point. That's what I'm saying, yeah. yeah well, he continues to throw, you know. He's not in here. Michael, so maybe he's not afraid of anything because the punches. If he stands up with his hands down, it looks like Michael won't have been tested any which way. I'd like say I went with a heavyweight champion. And you hear the Vaughn being in round 11. Continues. Wouldn't it be funny if I see you just add it up? It would, it would be justifiable. If this thing goes to 12, and when the bell sounds, it may break all records for booing. A dick left up and started. Here's how they see it at home. Now, would that be the robbery of all time? My break. The beans won three rounds max. And. I, I, the Vaughn Bean people, they feel they can just taste it. The last round. He's waiting for Michael to come to him, just trying to. And it's got dull chimes for uh, the champion. Oh, look at this. Vaughn Bean team. Oh. There's another right hook, followed up by a left hook by uh, Vaughn Bean. Come on. Here. Come on. His mother shot him. And he takes the same as soon as he gets in. He compromised Michael Moore. And the Bulls. Continue final seconds of the five. Time. Hold on, that's it. I don't know if you blew it. I don't know if you blew it. Uh, you didn't, huh? You didn't, huh? You better not. Put your hands up. Put your hands up. Put them both up now. You hear me? Get them both up. Get them up. You know why that is? Get them both up. Chris Dundee always used to say, look like a winner. In case you do get a, a decision going your way, you look like you expect it. Always look like you expect you won. It's not going to influence the judges, that's for sure. Well, some uh, dramatic stuff in the ring as the, uh, the two embrace. But what must be going on in the mind of Michael Moore? I certainly right don't now. think Von B did enough to win any heavyweight championship. But Michael Moore barely did enough to defend him. Come on, you, you the one. It's more than just being a friend. You understand? I don't have the luck to be the freaking lady because you gotta live with that shit. You the you won, Michael. Let's get let's get this glove. Can we? You won, baby. Let's get these gloves off. Come on, you won. Teddy, let's Teddy. Go. Let's go, baby. You won. The lone cheerleader in that corner saying you won. Thanks, scissors. Be careful, I don't want no one else cutting him. No. Because you like to get excited and cut his arm. Get ready. Come on, baby. A disgusted Teddy Atlas. Even Don King looks a little disgusted. Well, sure, he can't sell anything off that. Right. Jimmy Lennon Jr. is ready with the decision. So we uh, will soon send it up to uh, our ring announcer. He's got a piece of paper in his hand. I assume that's uh, the scoring. But I don't want to have So we'll send it up to Jimmy as soon as uh, we're ready. Here we go. of boxing here at the Las Vegas Hilton. We have a majority decision. Here are the score totals. Judge at ringside, Dave Moretti, scores at 114 to 114, even a draw. Judges at ringside, Jerry Roth, he scores at 115, 113. Bill Graham scores at 116 to 113 in favor of the winner. And still, IBF heavyweight champion, Michael. I had a 116, 112.